this is useful to know when light strikes this surface whenever light strikes a surface it always produces reflection always there will be reflection and in many cases there will be refraction all three happen not all three two of them will happen incident light there is a reflected light and there is a refracted light if for example it is hitting glass air glass interface it is not as if light goes inside light also gets reflected so this is angle of incidence angle of reflection well this is angle of refraction so let me call that r1 and let's call this r2 both are r okay so this is angle of refraction angle of incidence angle of reflection all three happen okay now if it was a and actually it's interesting that if the thickness of this glass kept increasing decreasing this amount of light reflected changes which by the way was weird um, it's still very weird just imagine so you think that this happens first and then this happens next right but if you keep changing this this amount of reflected light changes how does changing the bottom surface change this do you understand it is almost as if this fellow goes down and then what comes out seems to basically get affected but that's because when it comes and hits this again there is going to be reflection and then again there is going to be refraction now these two fellows interfere and sometimes if you can make this thickness just right you can actually cancel these two completely and if you cancel these two the energy that came in almost entirely will come out or will go inside because if this becomes zero energy has to be conserved so energy that came in must be equal to energy that goes out this way plus the energy that goes this way if you made this zero you can actually make this full but usually when you have some thickness there will be refraction i mean reflection if you made it too large it won't matter much because this will be too small to affect this is for thin glass pieces if you have really thin glass pieces by changing the thickness you can actually make the reflection zero by increasing this why was it so surprising because it looks like this happened first what is happening later is affecting what happened first sounds like some weird cycle turns out that the weird cycle is reality because light is not so predictable so when light comes here based on this thickness sometimes the pathway which actually supposed to come this way interferes with this pathway adds up destructively and destroys that pathway in which case the only pathway left is this sometimes this pathway and that pathway add up and become so powerful that you get super powerful reflection in which case almost the entire stuff that is going in becomes very small you get what i'm saying now these are for thin glass films but anyway so the basic point is that this and this somehow join up and destroy or add up okay so ultimately of course there is one strength of the reflected light there is refracted light and there is incident light all three happen usually the reflected can sometimes cancel sometimes add up can become very strong can become very weak depending on the thickness of the glass and what all what else is going on anyway so whenever you are looking at a glass window or something for example if somebody is trying to see through and you have a very bright source here then this light will get reflected glass glass this is glass this light gets reflected a significant part of it will get refracted and then 
we will basically it will, let's say it comes and lands up at your i okay so you are able to see that source so for example if you are in a room dark room or whatever room and outside it is bright you will be able to see the outside world like you can see the trees outside you can see leaves you can see all of that right will people outside be able to see you yes or no no usually no during day time no why because you see if somebody is standing here to see you first of all this has to reach them but there is going to be reflection there is going to be refraction there is going to be reflection there is going to be some amount of okay so this is basically what they have to see finally but you see this source of light is also sending light that way okay this is going to be much brighter than that for them to be able to separate out this light from that light and see what is coming from inside is generally very hard to do so during day if somebody from outside is trying to watch a person inside the room they are not going to be able to but at night this is dark and let's say you switched on a light here they can happily see you but you can't see them Uh, if you have lights on both sides usually you see reflection here mostly because a large chunk of this light let's say this was powerful light this is what you will see the refracted light if it is a slightly thicker piece of glass is hard to allow now there are things that you can do to glass which will ensure that light will flow in one direction but not in the other okay how will that work so first of all how does reflection work reflection is not a point suppose i had a point mirror light hits a point mirror how will it reflect actually it won't reflect point mirrors don't exist to be a mirror you must have some reasonable amount of surface so such a concept as a point mirror does not exist so you need a reasonably large surface i don't mean this large surface but you need a significant surface at least some several centimeter squares for you to be able to reflect light properly now suppose i took something and i made lots of puncture here you might have seen this with old glass pieces like old mirrors start getting holes you can't see anything there very very old i don't know if you have any of you have seen really old mirrors they start getting holes at the back or holes at even the glass but once i mean it's like tiny tiny it's not like a hole as in breaking it is just that that uh, mercury at the back or whatever the coating is there has started to come off pieces of it has come it is still glass it is still a mirror except that mirror has too many dots so when the mirror is is poke marked like that it won't reflect it starts to scatter it's no longer a mirror okay so if i had something like this then light that comes in here the reflection is not going to be as good as it should have been it will scatter light it won't reflect anymore it will scatter light correct it won't be like a mirror and i can make this side reasonably clear so what happens is that light that comes in from this side does not even go through much i mean reflection of course is a problem it will just scatter it and it is not going to allow this is not going to happen much very little amount of it will pass through but whatever comes from here there will be some reflection but there will be some refraction and then when it comes through this it will continue passing through okay so if you can do this then people on this side can see this person but the people on this side very difficult for them to see that object okay so how come it allows this path but not allows that path what do you think it's not like this is all empty there are small pieces of glass basically what happens is that because of the scattering 
the places where there is this denting that has happened. So just imagine, like you would have seen glass, which is, it is glass, but they basically break or make like small, small layers on top. So it becomes not transparent anymore, but becomes like translucent glass. But it's translucent on both sides. So if you made too much of it, you can't see either way. So you should have enough scale to allow this to go, but this gap is such that this will get basically blocked. Basically, it will interfere, it will block it. So this will not go through much, but that will come out a lot more. So that's this is a hard design, but you'll have to do it with such right gaps that you will allow for flow this way, but not that way. You can also have a very good where you can have a very good reflecting film. So if you, for example, also have a reflecting film, most of it gets reflected, but whatever is passing this way will go through. So whatever is on that side, you can't see here because it's mostly reflected. That's also possible. Okay.